What is up you guys, welcome back to another one. If you are new to the channel, I am Gold Pony. I do new car track SUV reviews on YouTube. And today, we are in the brand new 2022 Volvo S90, courtesy of Volvo Cars of Hagerstown in Hagerstown, Maryland. For more information on their inventory, please feel free to check out the link in the description box below. And so we are in this one today because of course, all Volvos are going to give you incredible safety. Every single Volvo in the lineup right now is an IIHS Top Safety Pick Plus. I can tell you that right off the bat. Not only that, you have a timeless design with this one, which always looks good with the Thor's Hammer LED daytime running lights. And I'll be going over the exterior here in a little bit. And this thing has an insane amount of space, especially for a sedan as well. So ultimately in this video, we will be testing out and going over everything about this one from acceleration to braking, steering feel, ride quality, sound system, exhaust clip, all that fun stuff. So having said all of that, what do you guys say? Let's just go ahead and jump right into it. And as always, Let's start with pricing. So there will be a few different trim levels for the 2022 S90. First one being the momentum starting at $52,895. Inscription for $55,995. And our design also for $55,995. And for anybody who is curious throughout the video, we do have the inscription trim level with us here today. But regardless of the trim level that you go with, the power plant is going to be the same. Powering the 2022 S90 will be a two liter turbo charged and supercharged inline four cylinder putting out 295 horsepower at 5700 rpm 310 pound feet of torque coming in at 5400 rpm power sent to all four wheels through an eight speed automatic zero to 60 time is going to come in at approximately 6.2 seconds with mpg numbers coming in at 23 in the city 31 on the highway taking premium unleaded fuel but so now having got all of that out of the way what do you guys say let's go ahead and find a straightaway let's put the s90 here to the test and Let's see how quickly we can get our new 2022 S90 here up to speed. All right, slight rolling start here. Here we go. Not bad. Nice. Yeah, you're definitely not going to have any issues marching onto the highway. That was plenty of an acceleration for just about anything, quite honestly. So that is plenty quick it is supercharged and turbocharged after all with nearly 300 horsepower so definitely going to be enough for the s90 but anyways to go along with that acceleration as always braking is equally important so up front you will find 13.6 inch ventilated front discs in the back 12.6 inch solid rear discs as far as that 60 to zero stopping distance goes that is going to come in at 115 feet which quite honestly for the size of the sedan is very impressive i gotta be honest a lot of sedans will come in in the 120s mid 120s even so 115 feet that's actually sport sedan good so that's a very nice number for the 60 to zero stopping distance braking feel definitely is on the firm side of things so i've had no issues whatsoever in my short test drive here today with the braking then touching on suspension and handling you will get an independent front and rear suspension of course do want to mention that there is an optional adaptive air suspension that goes for twelve hundred dollars it essentially maintains the ride height automatically and also monitors each shock absorber individually not only adjusting to the road imperfections giving you a smoother ride but also tightening up the suspension during heavy cornering giving you the best of both worlds so definitely one I always like to recommend overall as far as ride quality goes it's been perfectly fine definitely not having any issues with uh, the s90 soaking up Hagerstown's road imperfections so that is 100% on point as far as steering feel goes it's feels exactly like I would expect an S92 feel. I'll just put it that way. It's not on the heavier side. It's not on the looser side either. It's quite honestly just right. So that is what I'm going to say about that more or less. And touching on cabin noise, we are currently going 55 miles per hour right now. You guys can tell there isn't a whole lot of exterior wind noise coming into the cabin whatsoever. There's a slight bit of road noise, but really that's about all you get. But the wind noise is 100% subdued. So that is 100% on point as well. And touching on visibility, it's a sedan it's a very well shaped sedan so you're not going to have any issues with the rear visibility rain sensing windshield wipers do come standard for every single trim level across the board as well so that's going to assist with forward visibility and if you were to go with the advanced package it goes for $1,900 and gives you a bunch of other stuff as well but you will actually also get a head-up display which is currently what I am looking at right now so it is currently giving me my speed projected up on my windshield it is high quality as well so that is definitely going to assist with visibility yet again but 
that pretty much rounds out the performance segment of this review, you guys. Let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of our brand new 2022 Volvo S90. All right, so here she is, you guys, the new 2022 Volvo S90 finished in crystal white metal is the exact name of the exterior color that we have with us here today. But let's go ahead and start up front on the S90 here. Of course, that grille design is going to differ amongst the trim levels. Gonna get some more black cladding if you were to go with the momentum, for example, and some more chrome cladding if you were to go with the inscription that we have here today. But chrome, chrome accents continue down below. You guys can see that on the lower portion of the front bumper there as well. To the sides, LED headlights with LED Thor's hammer daytime running lights, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video there. Definitely come to be known as Volvo signature look up front without a doubt automatic feature coming with those headlights as well meaning when it starts to get dark and at night the headlights will turn on automatically for you there automatic high beams also coming standard meaning if you have your high beams on at night and it senses a vehicle coming in the opposite direction it's going to automatically dim them back down to low beams then when the vehicle is gone it's going to automatically bump it back up to high beams so definitely very nice convenience feature there Active bending headlights, though, also coming standard for all trim levels, meaning when you're going around the bend at night, those headlights are going to swivel based on the direction of your steering angle. Better help illuminating what is around that bend so you're less likely to hit a deer or a bicyclist or basically anything in your path around the bend. So that is pretty cool there as well. Then you guys can see down below there, there are LED fog lights with the cornering function yet again coming standard for all trim levels across the board. But as I said at the beginning of the video, a very timeless design. Design. Definitely looks good in my opinion up front, but that about rounds out the front end of this one. Let's now go ahead and make our way to the side of the S90. It's up now since we are around to the side of this one. Chrome window surrounds will come standard. Take a look at those side mirrors. Body colored power adjustable side mirrors do come standard as well. They will be heated with LED integrated turn signals coming with every single trim level across the board. That's definitely nice. Got some chrome accenting found on the lower portion of the doors there. A little bit of chrome accenting on the door handles then as well. Then take a look at the wheel configurations. They will of course differ amongst the trim levels 18 inch diamond cut alloys coming with the momentum 19 inch 10 spoke diamond cut alloys coming with the inscription of course that's what you guys are looking at right now and then 19 inch five spoke black diamond cut alloys coming with the R design. But again, that pretty much rounds out the side. Let's now go ahead and make our way to the back. All right, so this is the best angle on the S90, in my personal opinion. The back end of this thing looks so dang good. Body colored shark fin antenna all the way to the top. Of course, you got the Volvo lettering spelled out horizontally, finished in chrome. Also looks very good back there. Got those C-shaped LED tail lights coming standard for all trim levels across the board as well. Of course, you have some badging to go along with that. You do have some chrome accenting found on the lower portion of the rear bumper as well. And just below at all you will get dual exhaust outlets however they are tucked away underneath so there is no exposed exhaust outlets on the s90 anymore as they used to do just a couple of years ago i feel like so anyways having said that i do believe you guys know what we have to do next as always here is that exhaust clip So, but now since we are around to the back of the S90, when it comes to opening that rear trunk, it is a power trunk that comes standard for every single trim level across the board. So, a few different ways to go ahead and open it. There is a button on the key fob, there's a button on the trunk itself, and a button by the driver's side left knee then as well. But once opened up, cargo capacity comes in at 13.5 cubic feet. So insane amount of space back there in that cargo area. Cargo lighting does come standard, of course. There's actually a 12 volt power outlet back there. Kind of surprised to see that. You usually find that on SUVs only. Netted storage there a little bit to the right. We'll actually also get grocery bag hooks. Again, a feature you typically only find in SUVs, but the S90 actually has it. So pretty cool. If you were to lift up then underneath of that cargo floor, you're actually going to find a spare tire then as well but then make your way up to the rear legroom again insanely impressive here 40.4 inches for reference i'm an even six feet tall this is how much space i have back there rear center armrest with cup holders and there's actually a little tablet style tray where you can of course store your tablet back there as well if you wanted to so i did like that rear ventilation does come standard you're actually going to get four zone climate control if you were to go with the inscription that we have today so both rear passengers can actually set their own temperatures back there so that is pretty darn cool you will get heated rear seats if you were to go with the climate package it goes for $750 and there are rear window sunshades all the way around so not only the driver's side rear seat but the passenger side rear seat has side window sunshades but then there is a rear window sunshade in the back 
as well, which can be controlled by using the buttons on the passenger side in the back there. So plenty of sunshade. So if you're a vampire, that is definitely going to be where you want to be at there in the back seats. But then make our way up to the front seats, power adjustable leather seating coming standard. Do want to mention before I forget to mention it, there's actually a flag of Sweden, of course, in typical Volvo fashion. They always do this found on the passenger seat there. So nice little nod to where Volvo originates from. Napa leather seating coming with the inscription that we have today. You will get a Napa leather slash leatherette slash new buck combination if you were to go with the r design heated front seats then coming standard for all trim levels inscription then is going to add ventilated front seats as well memory settings actually do come standard for all trim levels as well and that's for up to two different drivers and passengers yes there are memory settings for both driver and passenger seats so absolutely love that overall as far as seat comfort goes perfectly fine definitely not going to have any issues with taking this thing on a long road trip if you wanted to do that then make our way to the startup let me start by showing you guys the key here you do have your volvo logo on the one side then when you flip it over you got nothing because all of your buttons are on this side of the key you got lock unlock and the button to pop the power trunk again but it is all keyless entry with a turn knob start so all i'm going to do here is simply put my foot on the brake and turn that knob to the right and by the way to stop it you once again turn it to the right so that's how that's going to work but once started up you will get a full 12 inch digital gauge cluster that comes standard for all trim levels across the board there will of course be steering wheel mounted controls to adjust what is on those digital gauges then as well so definitely very nice definitely very customizable so i always like the look of digital gauges and the s90 has wonderful looking gauges there without a doubt and make our way to overall interior quality there is a power mirror if that of course does come standard frameless rear view mirror with home light controls also coming standard and that's for up to three different garage doors found on just underneath of that rear view mirror there dual zone climate control coming standard however like i mentioned the inscription does get the four zone climate control gray ash decor for the inscription definitely looks very nice there also for the inscription though one of my favorite parts you get a crystal gear selector by orfors which is a company from sweden that makes different crystal so that is pretty cool i love that gear selector looks dang good on the s90 wireless phone charger just to the right of that they come standard on every single trim level across the board just in front of that you have a 12 volt power outlet little bit of rubberized storage you also get dual cup holders and just behind that a decent amount of storage within the center armrest with a couple phone charging ports in there as well so overall as far as interior quality goes definitely very minimalist i will say that i do like the contrast stitching but essentially you got one two three four five six maybe seven buttons total just in front of the shifter. Everything's essentially controlled via the nine inch color touchscreen display. And so let's go ahead and make our way to that color touchscreen display now. Bluetooth and audio streaming coming standard. Android Auto, Apple CarPlay as well. Factory navigation system coming standard as well. Can adjust your climate control settings up there. Also your heated seat buttons and ventilated seat buttons if you have the inscription, of course. And overall, everything is insanely quick. I will say that on this screen, it's essentially just like your smartphone but kind of like a tablet style instead and just in a car but everything's extremely quick you also have the hey google functionality so if i were to say hey google so you guys heard a beep there it will respond to basically any kind of questions that you ask things like that you also can check out your weather information up there and when it comes to the sound systems there are plenty of them but we have the best one here today i'll explain why in a second but standard sound system is going to be 10 speakers and 220 watts honestly 10 speakers for the size of this vehicle should be perfectly fine but then there's also a 14 speaker Harman Kardon sound system available with 600 watts and then there's an optional this is my favorite sound system of all of the vehicles vehicles I've driven so far. I've it's been so long. It's been years since I tested it out. So I'm about to test it out again, but it goes for $3,200 by the way, but it is a 19 speaker Bowers and Wilkins sound system with 1,460 watts. So we do have that option. Go figure with wonderful, very high quality aluminum speaker covers everywhere as well. So having said that, this is going to be fun. What do you guys say? Let's go ahead and turn on the radio, see what we got playing today. And Let's test out the clarity of this one. I'm telling you guys, the sound system, it just makes you smile. It doesn't matter what kind of music that you're into. This sound system will make you smile every single time. It feels like it puts you in a concert kind of setting. The speakers are coming from everywhere. 19 speakers is an insane amount of speakers. They're basically in all directions. High quality covers as well. Ton of bass that is still to this day my very favorite sound system that I have ever tested. Bowers and Wilkins, 
for the S90 specifically, you crushed it. So that is amazing sound system without a doubt. You guys got to check it out. But anyways, last thing I want to mention to you guys on the infotainment screen is when you do put the S90 in reverse, you will find an insanely high definition rear view camera, although it only takes up the bottom of the screen, but still insanely high definition, letting you know who or what is behind you, which is always is going to lead us into safety. And so IIHS Top Safety Pick Plus, which pretty much says it all right there. That is the very highest designation given out by IIHS. Front side side curtain airbags do come standard driver's knee airbag up front as well. In the back, you're gonna have latch, AKA lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats, rear child door locks, tire pressure monitoring system. Also coming standard though, lane keep assist, road sign recognition, oncoming lane mitigation, front and rear parking sensors, blind spot monitoring system with rear cross traffic alert, adaptive cruise control and pilot assist with lane centering as well so ultimately when it comes to my final thoughts here of the s90 this thing has the very best safety humanly possible according to iihs at least so you got peace of mind there the very best sound system i have ever tested in my last i probably guess 650 ish reviews so far the bowers and wilkins sounds amazing and i know other vehicles have that sound system but specifically for the s90 it is the best i have ever tested so Absolutely amazing there. I like that there's an air suspension available as well. That's definitely going to smooth out the ride. I like how Google is incorporated into this entire vehicle as well. That's pretty darn cool. So overall, this car certainly has a lot going for it. Let me know what you guys think though of the new S90 in the comments section below. That is about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen if you want to see what's coming next on the channel before it gets to YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews. That is what we do here on this channel after all. Do appreciate you guys watching more than you know, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Stay gold.